don't need to be initiated into Haitian Vodou to have a connection with the Loa or your ancestors. Contrary to what a lot of organized religious clergy feel, the reality is this. The first human being on earth, how did he communicate with the higher power? Did the first human being have someone to stand over him to supervise him or did he have a direct connection with the unseen so with this logic here we can say the same for spirituality today your personal connection with your higher power this is the same as before it doesn't change that's why they say the Alpha and Omega. The way the Spirit has been moving since the beginning of time is the same way it's still moving today. In our finite minds, we think that there's a past and future where everything in truly is in the present. Now, when it comes to initiation, it's okay to have someone to give you information on how to do things correctly. But when it becomes filled with ego, that's when it becomes a problem where a person feels as though in order for you to be part of this laku or excuse me, correction, in order for you to practice voodoo, you have to be part of this laku. That's when it becomes a problem. There's a lot of clergy or people that are in these lakus listen i come from a laku myself rather i say peristil peristil sounds much better to me because it gives the uh, it gives the religious aspect of it because anybody can come to a laku anybody can have a laku but when we start talking about peristil this is another dimension the per the peristil is like the church Vodou can be like organized religion. It can be. Don't think that it's only church that can be an organized religion. Vodou can be the same way too. And it can have its dogmatic approach too. The Christians, they have their Bible. But in Vodou, it's the dogma of this is the way you do this. This is the color, this, this, how to serve this spirit. Now, this can be contrary to what the spirits desire. Because the spirit may go to one person and say, this is how we want you to serve us. Where per se for them, they may have told them how to serve another way. In DR, they don't serve the spirits the same way we do in Haiti. Are they wrong for that? Absolutely not. In totality, the most essential point of Vodou is having your connection with your loi, with God, your zanset, not a connection with men or women. Initiation today has come like a form of extortion. Some people get in there, they get threatened if they say they want to leave. I had one American a while back that went to Haiti for a consul. I followed her to Haiti to make sure that she was okay. When she went down there, it was, it was as if they held her captive. I had to basically make way there with my team and say, hey, what the fuck are you guys doing? 
This lady has a family in the United States. This, is, uh, this right here is one of the things that they don't talk about. I find negligent figures in the Vodou community, part of these organized religious sects, telling people that it's okay to come down to Haiti right now. There is no security in Haiti today. There is a travel advisory that the United States have given about going to Haiti. And these negligent so-called leaders of certain Peristil, they're telling Americans it's okay to come down to Haiti. And we know off of watching news, that is the most foolish thing you could do. You could put your life at jeopardy. So I say to you, it's better that you find a connection with the spirit total, with, with, with your spirit wholeheartedly. Now, if someone can lead you along the way, that's fine, but that's very rare. All I can say to you is pray without ceasing. When the student is ready, the master will appear.